In this screencast, we're going to conclude our introduction to the McCabe Tila method for designing distillation columns with a discussion of the optimal feed stage location for a distillation column. So on this plot, we have a completed McCabe Tila diagram for a distillation column. You can see clearly everything that we've talked about in class, the 45 degree line at x equals y across the center of the plot, the equilibrium curve, since it's the equilibrium curve for the light key, it's above the 45 degree line at all points. And then you have the Q line and the two operating lines. So the Q line occurs at X equals Z. And you can see the intersection point between the Q line and the 45 degree line here. And the slope of the Q line is going to be Q over one minus Q. So this line is the Q line. And then at X equals XD, we have the intersection between the 45 degree line and the rectifying section operating line um, with the slope given by the reflux ratio. So this is the rectifying section operating line where the slope is r over 1 plus r. And then finally at the point x equals xb you have the intersection between the 45 degree line and the stripping section operating line and that must intersect this point P that's defined by the intersection between the Q line and the rectifying section operating line. So this then is the stripping section operating line. All right, and what's completed in this plot is the stair stepping process going from the top of the column when, when the, uh, the concentration is XD to the bottom of the column with a concentration equal to um, X, XB. So we stair step all the way from the top to the bottom. First stage, second stage, third stage, fourth stage, fifth stage. Note that the fifth stage is a partial reboiler. Okay, what is shown on this plot is the feed stage location. Now, the feed stage location occurs wherever you transition from stepping from the rectifying section operating line to stepping, stepping to the stripping section operating line. All right, so since we begin here in the rectifying section operating line, step to the equilibrium curve, and then step from the equilibrium curve to a different operating line, the stripping section operating line, this is by definition the feed stage. Stage three is the free feed stage. Three is counted from the top of the column. One, two, three feed stage. Wherever the step occurs from one operating line to the other operating line, we have the feed stage by definition. The feed stage is where we transition from one section to another. Now the feed stage here occurs as we cross over the Q line. So if we were to extend this Q line all the way out, you would see that as we're crossing the Q line, we switch from one um, one section to the other section, one operating line to the other operating line at the Q line. Now this isn't the only way that we could arrange them. It would be possible to imagine placing the feed stage elsewhere. For instance, in this diagram, we see the same McCabe Tila plot, but now the feed stage has been placed on stage five. The meaning of the feed stage is the same. The feed stage is merely when we transition from one operating line to the other operating line. So here we have the rectifying, op the rectifying section operating line being continued on beyond this point P, the point P being the intersection between the two operating lines and the Q line. And to represent the feed stage occurring at stage five rather than, than stage three, we continue stepping along the rectifying section operating line until we get to stage five. At stage five, we've gone from a step that starts at the rectifying section operating line, goes to the equilibrium curve, and then goes down to the stripping section operating line. So again, since we started on one operating line and we're going to the other operating line, we have the feed stage. Okay, notice that for this system, we now require one, two, three, four, five, six, and a fractional part of a seventh um, equilibrium stage. So this, this last bottom equilibrium stage is going to be the partial re reboiler again. This is in contrast to the system that I showed you above where in order to accomplish the same separation, we have five stages. All right, so what this is telling us is that if we continue the rectifying section operating line beyond the Q line and continue stepping on that rectifying section operating line, 
putting the feed stage further down the column than it was above, we require more equilibrium stages to accomplish the same separation. Now the same can be said if we place the feed stage above the Q-line transition. All right, so here we have a similar plot, but now we're stepping one equilibrium stage on the rectifying section operating line, and then we go from the rectifying section operating line to the equilibrium line to this extended stripping section operating line. All right, so on the first, second stage from the top of the column, we have the feed stage. It's the feed stage because we start on one operating line, go to the equilibrium curve, go step down to the second operating line. All right, and you can see that here we require one, two, three, four, five, nearly six equilibrium stages, again with the bottom stage being the partial re reboiler. This is in contrast to the system where we stepped exactly as we're crossing the Q line at the very top, where we required only five equilibrium stages. So you need more stages if you transition above the Q line. You need more stages if you transition below the Q line. This is telling us that the optimal feed stage location occurs if we locate the feed stage right at the Q line. So in order to find the optimal feed stage location, you simply find, find this point P, the intersection of the two operating lines in the Q line. This is a point that you've already found because you need, it to, you need it in order to construct the stripping section operating line. And you perform your transition between operating lines, your feed stage, at this, at this location. So as you're crossing the Q line, either horizontally or vertically, you go to a different operating line than the operating line that you started that step on. And that's the optimal feed stage location in all cases.